What's up you guys? Welcome back to my Wendy's channel. For today's video, I'm bringing you guys another one of my recipes. So for today's video, I will be making you guys en frijoladas. All the family loves them, so I hope you guys like them as much as I do. They're so bomb. Alright, so let me show you guys what we're going to need. You are going to need beans. These are frijoles peruanos. These are Peruvian beans. This is what we use in my house. You guys can use any beans that you guys prefer. Garlic, chile guajillo, chile de árbol, corn tortillas, white onion, Queso fresco, I'm gonna use two. Sour cream. To top it off, you're going to need chile serrano, chile jalapeño, and chile güero. So I always make a lot just so I have some for the week. And then you always wanna make sure you go through your beans. Because sometimes there's little like rocks in here or sometimes there is um, like little rotten beans and you want to take them out. So now we're going to rinse them. Okay, so now we're going to rinse our beans. Make sure you, wa you rinse them really, really good. You see how the water is a little cloudy? Okay guys, so to put my beans to boil, I'm going to add a piece of onion and I'm going to add a piece of garlic. Okay guys, now I'm going to start cooking my chicken. I just put the chicken to boil, so now I'm gonna add salt. I'm going to add a piece of onion and I'm going to add a piece of garlic. And we're just gonna let that cook. Guys, don't forget to add salt to your beans. You can add the salt midway into cooking it or at the end, but I usually add it in the beginning. It's whatever you prefer. I'm going to add about this much salt. Okay guys, so I just chopped up some onion and I just wanna show you guys, I am not a lazy chopper. Look at how thin it is. It's almost see-through. This is how fine it should be chopped. Do not make this if you're going to chop it up lazy, okay? Make it super, super fine. Beautiful. Don't be a lazy chopper, bitches. Okay, guys, I'm going to put my onion to the side. Now I'm going to start chopping up my chiles. So really, you can add however many you want. I'm probably just gonna do a few of each. I'm not gonna do as many serranos because I feel like serranos are a little more spicier. So I'm probably gonna do either two or three of these. You can cut these however you want. I'm just going to cut mine in circles. I'm not gonna do it super thin or super thick. So I'm gonna do it maybe like that, see? Here are my chiles that I just chopped up. I'm gonna set these aside for when I'm ready to cook them or grill them. I'm gonna make a quick little salsa for my recipe. So I'm going to add two tomatoes. I'm gonna put a piece of onion and I'm gonna add two pieces of garlic to the grill. Okay guys, so you see my tomato, I just picked it up this is nice and burnt that's exactly what we want you want to when you pick it up you want to try and leave this burnt stuff on because that's what's going to give our salsa flavor so now we're going to flip it beautiful i also took out my piece of onion it's nice and soft now and i'm going to take out my garlic because the garlic is already nice and cut okay so now we're going to start a low fire we're gonna add a little bit of oil to our pan. While our pan is warming up, I got three chile guajillo. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the, I'm gonna take the seeds out. Okay, 
This is what your chila should look like in the inside. All right, guys, my tomatoes are almost done. So since they're almost done, I put these chiles um, to basically grill. Um, I, I throw in a lot of them. I don't really count them as you see. The chile basically is however spicy you want it. And me and my family like to eat super spicy, so I threw all of these in. Also, guys, quick tip. Don't forget to keep checking on your beans because you will have to keep adding water. I'm an OG at this. I've been making beans since I was like fucking 11. And my beans would burn. But your girl don't let the beans burn no more. So I'm an OG. I'm ready to get married, guys. Psych. Okay, so now that we cleaned our chiles, we're going to put them into fry just for a couple minutes. Maybe like a minute or so. You don't want to leave it in for too long. And I just added a little bit of oil. I have a handful of chile de arbol. I don't really count them. The chile de arbol is spicy, so I do suggest you guys are careful with this chile. Um, but I'm using about a handful. So we're just going to fry those up. I'm going to fry two pieces of garlic. I'm going to fry a little piece of onion. So we're just going to mix all that in together. And make sure you guys keep stirring it because you don't want your chiles to burn because then they taste bitter. Okay? While I'm doing that, also flip these over. The toastiness is what's going to give it flavor. These come toasted already, but I just toast them a little more just because... I like to burn them just a little, little bit because it does give it a little bit of a good flavor. So barely, barely toast them, guys. Okay, guys, so I just took out my chiles from the comal. I put them in hot water so that they could soften up. So I'm just going to let them hang out in here for a while. Okay, guys, now that these are um, fried a little bit, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of water. And I'm just going to let the water cook with the chile for a little bit just to soften up the chiles so the only purpose of this is just to soften up the chiles first i'm going to get started on my house salsa so i'm gonna throw in my two tomatoes i'm gonna add my piece of onion my two garlic cloves and now the chile is basically however spicy you want it And now the water that I got from the chiles, I'm going to add a little bit in here. So I'm going to add about that much. Just to start out, I'm going to add about this much salt. The salt really all depends on you. You can add more or less, whatever you prefer. I'm also going to add a little bit of consomme. Okay guys, now my salsa is ready. Now we are going to get started on the beans and the chile that we're going to use to make them frijoladas. So we're going to throw our mixture in the blender. So we're going to throw all our chiles in here with the onion and the garlic also. The water that I used, I'm going to pour in here. I'm only going to pour a little bit though. Actually, it is only a little bit, so I'm going to just pour the whole thing. Okay guys, so now I have my little paste ready. So I'm going to start throwing my beans in here. So we're going to throw them in the blender. Make sure you guys add some jugo from the beans also. So I guess it's bean broth. I guess that's what we would call it. We're going to add some bean broth in here. I don't know if I'm just inventing words or if that's an actual thing. And I do want to mention, you're not going to want this super watery and you don't want it super thick you want the consistency just right so we're just going to start off with that much water for right now i'm also going to add just a little bit of salt to my beans just to give it a little extra flavor i already added some 
to the beans when I was cooking them, but I just added a little extra. Okay guys, so on low fire, we're gonna add a little bit of oil to a pan, just a little bit. We're gonna let the oil heat up. For our beans, we're going to add a little bit of oil to the pan. And we're just gonna let the oil heat up. My chicken is finally done. It took about an hour or maybe a little over an hour to finish cooking and now we're gonna start shredding it. We're gonna add a little bit of oil to the pan. This is where we're gonna fry our tortillas. You don't wanna add too much because they make, they make your tortilla soggy. So you just wanna add just enough for it to get fried a little bit. Also have it on medium fire. Okay guys, so now that my oil is hot, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in my chiles now. I'm going to add a little bit of salt to the chiles. And we're just gonna mix them in and we're gonna cook these till they're soft. So this is the consistency that I wanted. You can make them thinner. If you guys want to make them thinner, you can add more water to it. If you want it thicker, then you add less water. I personally like my beans kind of thick. So this is how I left mine. Now we're going to add this to the low fire. My oil is hot and I'm going to add my beans. I'm going to just let these cook for a little bit so they could get mixed in with the chile. Okay guys, so I have shredded my chicken now. So now we are going to start to prep it. So the first thing that I'm going to do, you already know my signature go-to. I'm going to add a little bit of Lori's just to give it a little flavor because I know boiled chicken don't have too much flavor. I'm barely going to add any though, barely sprinkle it. I'm going to add a little bit of garlic salt, just a little bit. And we're going to mix it in. Now I'm going to add my onion that I finely chopped. You don't have to add a whole lot of onion. I'm probably, I'm just kind of eyeing it. And now we're going to grab my queso fresco. And I'm going to start off with about half of it. And we're going to mix it in with the chicken. You can use less queso fresco, but I love queso fresco, so I'm gonna use half of it. But you can use less if you'd like. And now we're gonna mix it. This is gonna be bomb, you guys. You guys don't even know. Everyone say goodbye to your diet. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna throw in my tortilla with the beans and I'm just gonna rub it in with the beans and get my tortilla full of it. Now I'm gonna grab some of my chicken that I seasoned and made earlier. And I'm gonna put it in my tortilla. All right guys, now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my aguacate cause you already know your girl eats everything with aguacate. Now I'm going to add sour cream or my crema mexicana. I'm going to top it off with queso fresco. All right, guys, and now I'm just going to add some of my homemade salsa. Ooh, this looks fire. Take a look, YouTube fam. Fucking bomb. You guys need to try this.
And you guys, I almost forgot to throw in the chiles. Look at how fire my chiles look. Alright, you guys. So, you guys already know what time it is. This is for all my freaks. So, we are doing the famous fetish fight today, you guys. Let me get up close and personal so you guys can see my plate. Look at how fire it looks. Hate on it. All right, you guys, my trainer's gonna kill me for eating this, but it's cool. I had a healthy breakfast, so it's gonna even it out. So let me just cut up my frijolada real quick. All right, guys, so let me get close so you guys can see. Oh, my mouth is already watering, you guys. Let's see. I got a little bit of avocado in here. Got a little bit of queso fresco. Ooh, this is about to be a good ass bite. All right. Mm-hmm. This is the truth, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna throw one with chile in it. Let me do another little bite for you guys. Okay, so see we got a little chile in there. All right, guys, so let me do my bite. Mm-hmm. A little chile, what up? Mm-hmm. You guys don't even know what you guys are missing out on. And that completes today's video. I hope you guys liked my recipe. If you guys make your frijoladas, maybe a little different than what I did, put it in the comments down below. I love seeing how you guys cook your recipes. You guys already know I love when you guys send me your videos or your pictures of your guys' food or the recipes um, that you guys watch me make. Don't forget to tag me. Let me know what else you guys want me to make for the next video. Drop it in the comments down below. You guys already know I put all the stuff that you're going to need in the description box. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And thank you guys so much for watching Mo Money's channel.